is really tight. It all starts with yards of fabric cinched to the waist and <laughs> snug as a corset to keep our weapons at the ready. And then it's time to start slashing. Welcome to Samurai Sword Work 101. Teen or middle-aged, working woman or housewife, all are here on a singular mission to slice their way to fitness and a measure of cool. These women may look lethal, but make no mistake about it. They're trying to create an illusion of a fight to the death for the benefit of an audience. They are practicing the art of tate, or performance fighting. There's no scoring involved and no competition. The idea is to put on as convincing a show as possible. <laughs> Our long swords may look terrifying, but they are tinfoil wrapped wooden replicas, the same props used in TV dramas and movies. Disarmingly petite, instructor Utako Takano knows her way around fake weapons. 46 years old, the veteran stunt woman started her female-only sword fighting class a few years ago. It was an instant hit. Japanese women might seem like softies, but inside they are made of steel. Together with her husband, Masatsuga Takase, Takano also runs a school for actors. He appeared in Slice Em Dice Em epics like The Last Samurai, starring Tom Cruise. Her timing and rhythm are so exquisite, she can fend off a band of assailants, even while blindfolded. Some might call this unnerving. Takano calls it refreshing. Performance fighting allows you to completely step away from your normal self. Since the age of the samurai back in the Middle Ages, Japanese men have been battling with swords. It's always been a male-only pursuit. But these 21st century warriors say there's nothing cooler than women crossing swords. Lucy Craft, CBS News, Tokyo.